It's time for Sean Shepard to catch up with that crazy bugger, Sebastian Sassville, on his cross-Canada journey to outrun diabetes. Find out where Sebastian is now and hear all about his crazy adventures, all right here on the Diabetes Champions Network. Sean Shepard here with Sebastian Sassaville and uh, close to the finish line. You're in BC and uh, November 14th is coming up pretty quick. So tell me, Sebastian, first, where are you? And tell me a little bit about how you're feeling and some of the challenges you're facing right now. Yeah, I'm, uh, hi everyone. Uh, uh, we're in Christina Lake, BC, so that's about um, a five hour drive to Vancouver. If I was driving, uh, can't do that. Uh, so I've got about 575 kilometers left, and it's uh, and it's really hard. Um, the Rockies are definitely. We knew it was going to be the toughest part of the the run. Um, I went over a few pretty big mountain passes, so it, it's really hard on my legs. It's really tough to recover. Um, it's been a little cooler, so I got a bit of a cold, and just the exhaustion from running all day, and you just can't shake that cold. Uh, away and I can tell like as soon as we take one day off uh, I, I the cold is getting a tiny bit better and then it, it, uh, so, yeah it, it's um, the toughest uh, segment of uh, the whole run the toughest few weeks uh, of uh, the whole uh, run and I think from O uh, once we get to O in BC it's going to be flat to the finish so we've got about another uh, 300 kilometers of this um, and then we'll be on. Wow, just another 300 kilometers of flat ground and then a couple hundred to uh, to get home. So November 14th is, is now coming up. So what was once just a dream back in February uh, is getting close to reality. So how much are you guys thinking about it and how excited are you right now? A lot. We're thinking about it a lot. <laughs> the whole year we didn't think about it and it was just you know, strategy for survival. Um, and now we're counting days, we're putting X's in the, on the calendar every morning. Uh, it's a lot of work, uh, as you know, to, to be planning the arrival, make sure that's going to be uh, fun and that there's going to be a lot of people. So um, it, it was a good thing not to think about it for nine months. And, and now it's uh, a very good thing to think about it every day because we get a lot of energy and motivation uh, out of it. So what can people do? Because I get a lot of Facebook messages and emails saying, you know, we're thinking of Sebastian. We want to support him. We want to cheer him on to the end. Um, what kind of things can really help you when you're out there running? Um, everything else. And, and we love seeing the support. And, and you know, whatever people can do uh, is always good. Even if it's just a little bit, that that's huge. So, um, you know, if, if, if people sharing things on social media. Um, yesterday we started to use uh, use uh, hashtag uh, go, Seb, go. Um So we're, we're hoping that that's going to go uh, a little viral. So that that's a good one. If you have, um, you know, connections with the media in your area, I just send us an email and, and uh, uh, put us in contact with, with them. That really helps because it helps um, the whole cause and message to you know, uh, um, be heard, uh, um, share our website. Um, if you feel like you can support financially, that's a good thing too. We love food. I've <laughs> yes. said that often. Uh, but just, um, it, it's 8, 8.30 here. I got up about an hour ago and I started the day with uh, reading the comments on, on uh, the latest uh, post uh, Facebook post and there was 30 new messages and and I can't think of a better way to start the day. So every little thing counts. Um, it's just both Patrick and I, we, we love reading those messages. We read them all, um, and it's huge. So everything else. Great. And the last thing, I know that you've said this many times right from the beginning, that you wanted to share this with everybody. Um, and on November 14th, you know, I know a lot of people like to be there, but you just, you know, life gets in the way of getting out to Vancouver. And, and we've got an exciting announcement that uh, Seb is going to announce uh, early next week about how everybody can share, no matter where you are in the world, 
um, that special day with you. So do you want to tease them a little bit about that announcement? Well, I'd like to. I, I don't want to say too much. <laughs> what, what can I say? Uh, I think he said, well, we're, we're working. Um, and, and, um, and, and by the way, Sean is uh, uh, heavily involved, mm-hmm. if not taking care of this whole project. So thank you, man. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, so we're just, yeah, we want to make sure that we're going to use technology to uh, make the, the, the finish line and, and uh, you know, the emotions uh, available and, and yeah, give a way to people to, to be there uh, in some capacity wherever they are in the world. So we're uh, finalizing the last details. You are, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, and thank you. And uh, But uh, next Monday we'll, we'll make that uh, public to the world and everybody is going to be part, uh, able to be part of November 14th. Yeah, and, and I'm really looking forward to that and uh, like you said, we'll announce that on Monday and and uh, what I will say is it will be live on the 14th, and it will be free. Um, <laughs> so those are two important things. But I'll let you get some rest. I know this is a rest day for you, and, and we're cheering, uh, cheering you on. And, uh, and uh, we'll talk later this week so we can make this announcement public on Monday. All right. Thanks, Seb. Bye for now. You bet. You bet. Thanks.